I'm going to show you how to do uh, your eyebrows because a lot of people ask me when I post my selfies on Instagram like what I did to achieve my brows. Usually I get them shaped um, maybe once a month or once every two months depending on when I have time at Brow House in Manila. They do a really good job shaping your brows. Like all you do is go in and then they do their magic, they cut some, they pluck some, they, they tweeze some. In the end, it looks really great and I trust them with my eyebrows. So today, this is what my eyebrows look like without any product on. You see, um, it's very nicely shaped, thank you Brow House, but it has a few uh, bald spots here and it's kind of short, like I, I would want it to end here, but it, it stops here. Um, first, I get my MAC 268 brush, or maybe it's 263, I don't know, it's big. So what I just use is my Naked Basics palette. And I use this color, Faint. You wet the tip of the brush when you use dark shadows so that it doesn't fall down on your face. So I just wet the tip of my brush, wipe it a little bit with tissue, and then apply it onto my paint. Um, we start with the brow bone at the edges, just to give definition and shape. Before we fill up the brow, you have to start at the edges. And then whatever is left on the brush, just lightly fill in the areas that you already have with hair. So when you get to the start of your brows, you don't want it to look like it's too drawn on. So I never add any product. I just really um, use whatever's left on my brush and apply it using light feathery strokes. But if you make a mistake here and it becomes too dark, what I like to do is I get this um, nose line brush and I just um, blend it a little and bring it down. So not only does it soften the tip of your, I mean the start of your brow, but it also gives you uh, a nice line for your nose. See, it's softer already. Um, I like to add brow gel. This one I'm using is by Dolly Wink. And if you have long um, hairs on your brows, you might want to use brow gel so that they don't stray. So it just gives the illusion of an overall softer brow, which I like. If you want to go forward and make your brows even more uh, defined, then I recommend that you use this K palette, Real Lasting Eyebrow. It's very light, it's very thin. So what I do is just fill in the gaps with um, mimicking my hair. So it's like I'm drawing hair onto my brow. Then, lastly, I use my uh, Naked Basic palette again and just get the first shade of Venus and apply it under my brow to highlight it. You can also um, use this second shade Foxy, don't, don't use the shimmery one, and apply it above your brow just a little to really give definition to the shape. I put a lot so that you guys can see, but um, generally you should blend it out so it's not too contrasting. This is my brow that I have done, and this is my original brow. You can see the difference. This one is really defined, whereas this one is just like a normal, flat, sad kind of brow. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. So this is my finished look. See, my brows are very defined now. And um, just a few tips to remember. Uh, your face isn't flat, it's 3D, so you want the sides of your brows where it arc to the bottom to be darker than this part of the, the brow. So you can use either two shades or just uh, make your brush more defined here and lighter here. So there you go. I hope you learned something. Um, I don't know what you call it with a thread. They thread some. No. 
But anyway, um, and I get, I usually use a, I usually use my, my, just a second. No. No, I'll just fast forward it. Oh, I already got it. Oh. No. Yay. <laughs>